Houston went down this afternoon. WBUA 23's Deidre Hall joins us live with Mora on a musical melee. Deidre? Tamika, I had a chance to witness a battle like no other, a battle of the bands. The Red Shed was alive with the sounds of guitars, drums, and pianos for the Tuscaloosa Battle of the Bands Friday afternoon. Local Tuscaloosa bands had their chance to win over the ears of Alabama students. The Battle of the Bands was not only a competition, but also a benefit concert to help out the Hungry for Music organization. Which raises funds to donate um, instruments, instruments to kids in after school programs that are underprivileged um, in order to like encourage kids to start a love for music early on in their life because we know that's so important, especially in today. Battle of the Bands was also an opportunity for up and coming bands to play for larger audiences. Some bands use the event to get their band back together. We're kind of getting back together. We haven't played together in a little while, so it's a nice opportunity to come down, especially for a game day weekend. Can't get a better atmosphere than that. Over four bands performed for the concert, ranging in genres from funk to indie rock. Bands like the Sunday Night Special love to play for a good cause. Yeah, we definitely enjoy helping out organizations, that whoever wants to run Battle of the Bands. Like last year, it was B, the Be Positive Foundation that's benefiting cancer research, uh, pediatric cancer research, so that was really good. Uh, a good opportunity to help a good organization, and we're looking forward to doing the same thing this year. With in the future, the Battle of the Bands plans to have bands from rival schools to compete in the competition, too. Live in studio, Deidre Hall, WVUA 23 News.